Is, uh, we're here at Weather Modification Incorporated, um, and they're, they're, you know, advertising that they can outfit your plane, and the the, the models that uh, they've outfitted to spray this shit on you. I mean, look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different types of small jets. Okay, so it's not just your big commercial jets like everybody thinks. There's a big debate. You know, nah, it's even these little private jets buzzing around your fucking head, spraying toxic shit on you. Now, let's take a look at their clients and projects, okay? Let's, let's read a little bit, shall we? The proven success of Weather Modification, Inc. in atmospheric and weather operations is evidenced by our lengthy and impressive client listing. Speaks for itself. Uh, first of all, and that's that's a run-on sentence, but anyway, so you don't know how to speak fucking English, but you know how to spray shit in our air. Fine. Our reputation for successful cloud seeding and meteorological services leads our veteran pilots, so veteran pilots, so they've been doing it for a while, experienced meteorologists and radar engineers around the world. Our valued clients include private and public insurance companies, water resource management organizations, as well as federal and state government research organizations. Now let's scroll down here. So they're spraying the entire globe. Let there be no mistake, they are. You can wake the fuck up from your haze now. Maybe all that spray you've been sucking in has, has melted your mind, but God damn it, you got to wake up. Look at all these places all over, okay? <laughs> look, all over, all over. And look at all of them in the United States. Department of Defense, that's nice. Department of Defense. Now let's think about this for a minute. Department of Defense using, using weather manipulation. So... Some of these droughts that have killed off livestock and left people starving to death have been perpetrated by the United States government. Some of these floods that have wiped out villages and killed hundreds of thousands of people perpetrated by the U.S. government. Oh, okay, so that justified. For you sheep that didn't believe it before, now you believe it, and now you're going to go ahead and justify it because the United States Department of Defense said that that's the thing to do. It saves bullets. Okay, that's, that's what it does. That's your justification. Wake the fuck up. Okay, wake the fuck up. Look at all this. Just look at it. You're surrounded. You're inundated. In the fluoride they put in your water makes you believe that none of it is real. Villages, towns, and cities across America spend millions of dollars every year to fluoridate public water supplies. And for years, people were told it was good for their health. But a growing number of scientists have questioned this, and leading health organizations now warn against over-fluoridation. Back in 1945, adding fluoride to the public water supply to prevent tooth decay probably seemed like a good idea. A handful of studies had shown that it was effective, and medical experts declared it to be perfectly safe. The producers of the chemical were ecstatic. After all, this was a waste product, a poisonous byproduct of phosphate fertilizer manufacturing, something they had to pay to get rid of. Now, they could sell it instead. And so, with the enthusiastic support of the chemical industry, local water departments were encouraged to add fluoride to public water supplies. Studies appeared to show great benefits from fluoridation. The American Dental Association and other groups became strongly supportive. Everyone believed the effort was a resounding success. Supporters called fluoridation one of the ten great public health achievements of the 20th century. The notion that fluoridated water reduced tooth decay was promoted by constant repetition and soon became an accepted axiom of public health. But was it true? Now. After more than 60 years of gathering statistics, we know for certain. Communities, cities, and even countries that fluoridate their water have exactly the same rates of tooth decay as those that do not. That's right. 
We know that adding fluoride to public water supplies does not materially improve public health. In fact, the opposite may be true. New studies have shown that ingesting fluoride can cause or exacerbate serious health problems. These negative health impacts of ingesting fluoride are most pronounced for children, the same demographic in which we heavily promote its use. What scientists know now is that the safest and most beneficial use of fluoride is when pharmaceutical grade fluoride is applied directly to teeth. As scientists learn more about fluoride, many cities across America have decided not to continue with fluoridation, and more are joining them every day. Fluoridation costs millions of your tax dollars, and most of it goes down the drain. So why are we still fluoridating water supplies? That's a good question.